Hi, welcome to part two of shopgoodwill.com um, Goodwill box that we are unpacking. And it's a turquoise color box from there. So we are on the second video of that. I hope you'll watch the first one. I hope you'll watch all the videos. I hope you'll give a like if you like the videos. And I really hope you'll subscribe so that you don't miss the next ones that are coming up. I have some thrift store hauls to do and some more boxes. So this looks like a beautiful piece of art glass with some metallic, silver metallic and black. And isn't that art, that glass blowing, just a fantastic art. I would love to do that. I don't know if I could handle the heat. If you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. This is in great shape. The ribbon is very clean, doesn't look worn at all. The the uh, cording is just fresh and clean. So it's like a brand new necklace. And I'll also give you a measurement. It's about 16 inches. And let's start right out the gate with a beautiful art glass necklace for $7. So, how has your week been? How have you guys been doing? Or if it's a weekend or whatever day it is, how are you? I'd love to hear from you. I love your emails. I love your messages. I love to hear about each of you and those of you that like to share. I really enjoy it, getting to know you. I keep saying jewelry people are the nicest people I've met, and I really mean that. I'm in a jewelry group, and they're just fantastic. I mean, nice people. This has been a really fun adventure. Next, we have an acrylic necklace. Oh, I thought it was like a three-tier, but actually, it's a knotted in between. Oh, is that glass? I love the green and the blue. What a pretty combination. Faceted, they are acrylic beads. Turquoise and blue color. The clasp, lobster claw. There's a little vintage looking here. But again, on this one, the cord is very clean. It, I wouldn't say it looks sparkling brand new, but it's in good shape. Silver tone, lobster claw. It's quite a long necklace. So you can do the you know, double wrap sort of look or have it nice and long. So we've got this one and I would say $7. Lots of pretty color in there. For those of you who like the sound, let me give you some sound. Isn't that great? I like it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Maybe, if you saw the first part of this um, box that we uh, we opened, there was one beautiful necklace that had one missing rhinestone. And I said if I found it, I would definitely include it. So I'll have to go back and take a look. But I always save all the little bits from the bags and label them and try to put things back together that need to be put together or try to give to people the things they need to put things. Oh, I like this one. This is really cute. I like the silver on this. It's got a nice silver tone. How can I describe? It's not a bright silver tone. You know what it's like? It's like a tarnished silver. It looks like what you want silver to look like if you like tarnished. That's pretty. It is acrylic. It's lightweight. I think I was talking about in my last video that some people need lightweight jewelry. I know that I have a lot of neck pain. I'm not, I don't want to complain and get weepy, but um, and jewelry can really make a difference if it's heavy or light. Some people need lightweight jewelry, and this is definitely lightweight. I don't see like a finishing piece on the chain, but doesn't affect its function. I like the shape of the chain. I love how that hangs. And 
just the translucence of those beads. They look glass, but they're acrylic. That's gorgeous, really gorgeous. I wonder if we have some earrings that match. If we do, I will certainly let you know. These are not the same shape, but same idea. And I'll do an earring sort of display in a little while because we have been putting the earrings on a styrofoam board and matching them as we go. And this box has been great because the earrings are matching. I love it when they match, don't you? I mean, how many of you got a Shop Goodwill or any jewelry box and there's a missing earring of something gorgeous and it's just one? You're like, oh. I have sold earrings that are single. You know, if there's something really cool, uh, what was the name of the one that I listed recently? Tabitha, I think. And it sold really well. The girl's mother-in-law had just lost the other earring. She was so happy that it was listed and she found it for her mother-in-law. So I was like, wow, I guess, you know, selling single earrings is pretty cool. People do need them. They do look for them. So, well, how did I get off on single earrings? I don't know. Here's this beautiful necklace. I love the silver tone, like I said. Let me give you a measurement. Cool chain. I want to keep this one, but I cannot keep them all. Okay. This is about 16 inches with the extension. Oh, I love this. Um, Let's see. I would say 12. Very sparkly, beautiful beads. What's next? We have, this has got a good weight to it. This is not a lightweight. Has a toggle clasp. Ooh, swoony swoon. Toggle clasp that looks like it says 925 from here. So let's see, see if it does. I was talking about in the first video that I have this cheap old loop that I used on one of my first videos and now it's not. Come on. Now you're going to make a liar out of me. And I was trying to show you guys the marks and the different details in the jewelry and it was doing a fantastic job, but now it's not. And then I used my more expensive loop and it wasn't. Anyway, let's see. I think it does say 925. I'm looking through my phone, which isn't, you guys can see better than I can until I look through the loop. Oh, it's a, it's not. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, it says 925. It's just a little worn. But what we'll do is test it to make sure. Oh, wait a minute. We got another mark. A little hang tag, which says, oh, it says H-O-B, like H like Harry. O like, you know, O, and B like boy. And then it says Mex, like for Mexico, 9 to 5. I wonder what H-O-B is. Like, is that a really cool maker? They certainly are fantastic at making jewelry, because look at this. That's beautiful. Really pretty. You know, it needs a little polishing, because it's tarnishing a bit. But that's a pretty good substantial chain. Like I said, when I first picked it up, it's got some good weight to it. You know, that's a good idea. Why don't I... I haven't done this before, I don't think. Is show the weight of it. So we want to do grams, right? Yeah, okay. Let's see what this would weigh in grams since it is sterile. And of course we got the beads on it, but... 50 grams. That's a pretty good weight. Nice amount of sterling. Oh, this is beautiful. I haven't seen a lot of sterling in this box. Of course, it's a ton of turquoise color, which is one of the most difficult boxes you can try to do a video on because turquoise is not readable on the Presidium. And turquoise is a very difficult stone to to really tell what is authentic and what isn't. Anyway, I think we have, I can't say what we have. 
maybe turquoise here, but we certainly have some beautiful sterling. Hmm, I think I'll test this to make sure. So if you buy the necklace, I'll make sure that it is sterling. I'm going to say with, with that much silver, 55. So if you like that, just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and I'll be happy to message you back. I use PayPal. Uh, make sure I have your PayPal email and I like PayPal. You get shipping confirmation and I can ship right through there. So 55. I think that's great. That's a lot of sterling. That's a beautiful one. Okay. What do we got next? Now this one is lightweight. It's not heavy like that last one. But really pretty pearls. We had one earlier that had the same color pearls. Just really pretty. We've got some shell. And nice sort of chandelier type um, design to it. That looks like the back of the shell there. Oh, it's pretty. I like the silver color beads. We have a lobster claw clasp. And it's on some cording. So there's some chain, silver tone chain in great condition. Let me make sure the clasp works. Yep, the cording is in pretty good condition. So I would say these slide down so we can get them centered this way. I'd say seven dollars for that. And who's next? Ooh, look at this one. This is really something. So I don't want to be a spoiler, but do you think this is how light? Do you think this is some kind of stone? Do you think this is carved something? Uh, what do you think? Oh, I know. This is like one of those that you wear on the side. Oh, that's so beautiful. That is really pretty. Silver tone beads. Lobster claw clasp. Let me show you close. Sometimes I get busy looking and forget to put it close for you guys to see. Whoops, yep, that's okay. So, silver tone, beautiful carved rose that's worn on the side, gorgeous beads, and it is made of acrylic. It looks like how light, doesn't it? They did a great job of making it look like real halolite. So this, I mean, you just have to twist this around to get it fixed the right way, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Yes. Beautiful. Lightweight acrylic beads. Beautiful carving. And I would say... 15. That's the back. Silver tone beads are in good shape. This one has a little bit of a dent in it. See that? Otherwise, it's in good shape. It doesn't magnet. It does here. So it's probably got copper or brass inside. But that's a pretty one. Very pretty. Ooh. This is acrylic. Looks like marbly stone, doesn't it? I think it might have seen better days. Actually, the stretch is very good, but I wouldn't pretend it is because it's fraying. So I find that the stretch bracelets they made, the vintage ones, man, they lasted a long time. Some of the stretch that they make today just don't last like this so 
these are beautiful beads. I love the silver tone, sort of, what I want to say, um, you know, it's not bright, bright silver. There's some wear on these, so these are probably, you know, too worn. But maybe someone can repurpose these. I'm thinking, in our first video, we made a craft jar. This is not a glass jar, because I would rather you're paying for jewelry, not for glass. And it's just not safe to ship glass. So we started filling this up as a craft jar, and I got so excited about the other video that I forgot to give a price for the craft at the end. I'm wondering if this will fit in there, or if we should start a new one. Yeah, it'll fit in there. I love to make these overflowing anyway. So... We are going to add that to the craft jar, and we'll give a price for that at the end. If you want to see what's in it, you can watch the first video, and you'll see us at times making deposits in the jewelry hospital, because this is where the pieces that have served us so well go to crafters and people that repurpose them. So, I love that, the people repurpose the jewelry and make something beautiful out of it again so that's our crafting jar we might fit a few more pieces in there we'll see if not we'll have to start a new one uh-oh boo time something happened here we've got another piece here but let's see what you are those actually these will go in our craft jar but let's wait to see what they went to so we know this is neat Looks like glass, feels like glass, and this looks sterling. It is on a stretch. Let's see. The stretch is in good shape. Let's see what Missy Prissy says about if it's glass, because sometimes it's hard to tell. It's kind of, I have a heat on and it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Yes, they are glass. They are interesting. There's purple color in, in the middle. And yeah, I mean, isn't that beautiful? Sort of a swirly bead inside of the bead. And then the faceted ones. And then I'm not sure if someone would put sterling on a stretch bracelet, but maybe. No, they're, it's magneting a little bit. So I'm going to say that's not sterling. But I love the beads. I love that there's three. You know, there's not, like, lots of them. It's a very statement to me. I'm going to say $6. Gorgeous, shimmery, turquoise color beads. Oh, we have another piece thing. We had something in our first video that said piece. I think it was a necklace, the pendant, and it said it all around it. So if you want to see that, you can take a look. This is in good shape. It's acrylic. It's made to look like halite or faux turquoise with the silver tone little piece pendant. I have been collecting some stretch bracelets together. They're not all stretches. Yes, these are. And maybe I'll just do, you know, do a lot of them. Actually, this is not stretching. So I wouldn't want anyone to buy it thinking that it's going to stretch and do well. It's not stretching. You're going to have to go and craft, baby. So thank you for your service. And we are going to put you in the jewelry hospital. That's getting pretty full. Some good stuff in there. Sparkly stuff. Yummy stuff. Acrylic stuff. Those earrings broke my heart in the first video. They're so pretty, and they have like a little, just a little chip in this part of the stone. So watch that video, and please subscribe so that you don't miss any videos that are coming up. And give a like if you like it. I'd love to hear your comments. So we just put that one in the jewelry hospital. These three, and this little one, I think this is a kid one. I'm going to put these together. I'll find a little baggie to put them in or something. And I'll say $6 on this group of bracelets. 
If you want to see what's in these, you got to watch the first video of the turquoise color lot. So those will go together. We looked a little bit at this, and then we went to the other pieces. This looks, this looks quite vintage. Don't think it's sterling. I don't think it's turquoise. Oops, I just knocked my little earring thing. Hmm, goes up a little bit on glass. I don't know what to make of that. Let me give you a close up because you guys that know a lot about jewelry, you might know just by the close up. Vintage looking piece. Of course, this, you know, this suede piece is no good anymore, but what do you think? Five dollars, and you can put it on a new chain. If you want me to put a new chain, just email me, and we'll talk about you know a couple dollars more for the chain. But I'd say five on that. It's a nice pendant. We have quite a few pieces to go. It wasn't a terribly heavy box, but there's a lot of pieces and a lot to talk about when we go through them. Because it's not as cut and dry as you know if I had a box that had. You know, a necklace that was gold tone with rhinestones. I mean, this turquoise color has been a difficult one to call what these stones are. This beautiful statement necklace seems to be in great condition. I'm looking all the rhinestones so far. Nope, we're missing one there. Maybe. Could that be this one? Oops, what happened to it? I just dropped it in there. There it is. All right, let's try that again. Let me come in close. Not that this is the most fun thing in the world to watch, but it might be fun for some of you. So we have a missing stone here, and this was in the bag. And it's a little bit foiled on the back. They do that to, to make it sparkle even more. Let's see if that would fit in there. If that is the missing piece. I think so. Oh yeah. And that might be the one that's missing. Let's very carefully put that aside. Now we know it doesn't go to that first necklace. And let's see if there's any others missing. I hope not. That means that we have that one missing stone and that it would be in great condition. Ooh, good close-up iPhone. Thank you, old iPhone. You're doing a good job. It feels like acrylic. I'll back up a little now so you can see the whole thing. Let's see, because I've been wrong a few times. I think I have the heat up too much tonight where it's hard to tell if something feels cold or not. Uh, I would say they're acrylic. Yes. The rhinestones, of course, are glass. Yes, they are. So, we have a beautiful statement necklace. I don't see any others missing. We found the missing one. Oh, these are like Rivoli. Rivoli, you know, how the stones are put sort of like they look backwards. But they're not. They're meant to go that way. That's really interesting. White, turquoise, clear. Beautiful condition. The chain is in great shape. I can glue that stone in if you'd like and send it to you all set, or, or you can put it in yourself, whichever you'd like. But either way, I'll include that or fix it. And I don't see a maker. This is a beauty. In great shape. I'm going to say 14 on this. And I will be very careful to include that stone with it. I'm going to leave it up here so I don't forget. Okay. I probably should show you guys. I shouldn't show you because I want you to see the first video, but I want to show you what was in the box. So the two, I'm sorry. <laughs> This was in the box, and this was the first thing I saw because everything else was in the bag, was in two bags, but this was just thrown in the box. And I want to know what you think. So it's this. 
plus this, plus this, plus this. What do you think? Do you think that's a necklace for a giant? Do you think it's a wall hanging? It's really beautiful. We talk about it on the first video. We think that this is coral, but I'm not very experienced, so you guys will have to comment about that, and I'll do some research looking up coral to see how you can tell if it is or isn't. That's interesting. But yes, the wooden beads, how light, very heavy. I thought, that's a lot of weight. Would you be happy that that takes up three pounds, four pounds of your jewelry box that you, that you got? Or would you not? I'm not sure yet. I love the cross. I love the beautiful necklace. Just not sure I could wear it around my neck. So, what do you think? What would you say? What would you do? What do you think the materials are? And for those of you that like the sound, I'll give you some of the relaxing sound of the jewelry. Ah, the sound of the blessed bottles. Isn't it gorgeous? How about I be quiet so you can hear it? Oh, this stuff is fun. This is fun. Okay. Next, next, next is... Oh, I see another boo-boo. Oh, it looks like this one's broken. The next one is broken. I know what we're going to have to do. Get out a new craft jar and start filling it. Because it looks like we got a couple of boo-boos here. All right, let's unravel you. Cute little uh, wrap bracelet. I think that might be glass. We'll have a look. <gasps> look at that. Ooh. Okay. Not getting off track here. Let's go back to this because we've got some things to clean house on. So it's got a cute little hook clasp. I think they're little wooden beads. They're very cute little silver tone in between. And I'm going to get out a new craft jar and start to fill it up. these and it looks like pretty soon we're going to have some other little seed beads in there because this looks to be broken too oh no it's not broken these just slide down see they speak too soon sometimes all right let's put that aside put these guys in there and yeah, we'll wait till we dig in a little bit more to see what else is in there. I think I'm going to give a price on this, um, this craft jar. And again, if you want to see everything that's in it, you're welcome to watch the first part of this unboxing. I will put some tape over the top. You can open your jewelry jar. And you can craft away with these beautiful turquoise items. And let's see, what would shipping be? Shipping is going to have to be calculated based on where you live. But I can tell you what it weighs. That would be cool. Go to ounces. It weighs exactly 10 ounces. How did we do that? Look at that. On the nose. Wow, that is cool. 10 ounces craft turquoise jar, $15. And we're starting on our second one. Excuse my arm. Turn that off. And we'll have fun adding things to that. So what were we looking at? This beautiful, oh my goodness. That is so sparkly. That's gorgeous. That is 
is gorge, gorgy gorge. Here, let me move my camera. Wow, I hope my lighting is good. I bought new lights. They're not as bright as I'd like them to be. And it's not helping with me picking this up, but do you guys know, I'm sure you do, of um, Catherine, it's Catherine Popesco Jewelry has stones like this, very beautiful. That's really sparkly. I wonder if they're Swarovski. Let's see if there's any markings on it and I'll back out again. It's gold tone. The chain's in really good condition. There's not really any wear that I'm seeing on it. This is the extension, sort of a Rolo chain. It's so sparkly. I hope there's nothing missing because it's beautiful. Got a nice weight to it. Oh, the colors are so pretty. Maybe I'm holding it. Maybe I'm holding it wrong. Yes, because there it goes. I was wondering why it wasn't falling right, but there it is. I'm going to take a look and see if there's anything missing because I think we should know now. Or it might take me a while. Here, I'll give you a close-up. You can look with me. And you can see all these beautiful colors. Oh my gosh, like, let me start again. Clear, yellow. This is like a peridot green. Not sure what color it's looking like on my camera. This is like a emerald green. This, I can't even describe the gorgeousness. And look around the outside. Those are all still there. And then repeating the colors. Wow. Oh, why don't you have a tag? I want to know who you are. You're so pretty. So, so pretty. And I don't know what to ask for you. I don't see anything missing. And I just see a lot of gorgeousness. <gasps> oh, that's pretty. Oh, Sherry, you can't keep it. You can't keep it. No more jewelry. You have to pay the bills. All right, let's see. It is measuring 18 inches. Oh my gosh, what do I ask for this, 20? You can email me if you want this for 20 at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And please leave your comments. Let me know what you think of the jewelry, of the box, of the videos, or just let me know a little something about you. I love to hear about you all and get to know you. That was so pretty. Okay, I think we have, oh, we haven't had any earrings for a while. And we seem to have all of the matching, which is awesome. So this is one of the earrings we hadn't found yet. Oops, I probably should show you. Isn't that precious? Again, I can't tell if it's glass. Yeah, I think it's glass. Because it's kind of weird warm in here tonight. Yes, it's glass. So I'll put that up there. Actually, I said put it with its mate, but I haven't found the mate to that one yet. So many turquoise colors, sometimes you lose track of what what's there and what's not. Okay, back to the shell necklace. Oh, and there's our boo-boo pieces, but that's okay. They're going to go in our craft jar. Okay, we've got a shell necklace. Oh, we had one like this in the first video with all these different colors. Lots and lots of colors, pretty um let me see like a cranberry sort of red uh orangey red very teal shell this is like a like a soft navy blue a lot of beautiful color in this one let's see how it hangs oh here's a clasp oh you know what the chain is kind of yucky that's a bummer there's lots of beads here and lots to, lots of beauty, but I'm not liking the chain. Oh, look at those beautiful violet shell 
pieces. Yeah, look at that. Can you see how it's just too worn? It's not like it's sterling that's tarnished either, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, that's going to have to go in the craft jar. Okay, here you go. Thank you for what you've done. Into the jewelry hospital. You know, if you buy a, a craft jar and you make something new, I'd love to see a picture of it. I'd love to see it. I think jewelry making is a beautiful art. I've thought about it often, but I just can't take on another another thing to do in my life. I do quilting and gardening and, you know, just life itself. And I don't know, I just can't take on another thing. But I admire it very much. Jewelry jar, I mean craft jar. This looks like a shell pendant. Would you call that abalone? Yeah, that is abalone. And some lovely silver pearls. I don't know if those are real, probably not. Acrylic, turquoise, and these beautiful silvery gray beads. Now these seem like real pearls, these little pieces here. But, you know, I'm not an expert. Actually, these do too. But I don't know. You'll have to, if you buy the necklace, you'll have to find that out but let's see if it's sterling because a lot of times if it's sterling that kind of lends to it being better materials on the necklace or whatever piece of jewelry it really looks sterling to me let's do our magnet test first no magnet it feels yeah it's magneting on this wire but not on the clasp. So I'll take a look. And a lot of times you guys can see before I can because when we're making a video and we're looking through our phone, which is what I'm taping on, um, it's hard to see through there. So I'll have to loop it, baby, loop it. Now, I would be so surprised if that's not sterling. It's, it's showing as sterling. It's got that beautiful million different colored patina in it that sterling can have. The chain does too. And it's all exactly the same patina. So I'm thinking, since I'm not seeing a mark yet, that I may have to test it. If it's important to you whether it's sterling, I'll be happy to test it. Because I would think there would be a mark. Sometimes I have to look for a while because it could be in a very, you know, inconspicuous place. I would think I would see it by now, so we could get out the the testing kit and just do it now. Because I, I want to know if it's sterling because I think it lends to whether the other materials may be, you know, some real pearls. Let's have a looky-see. See what happens with that. I don't like to do this kind of testing because I really respect jewelry and I don't want to harm anything. So I try to do a very, very small, gentle part of it. So let's see. Hmm. It does seem to be. Let's see if it turns blue. Yeah. I would definitely say that that's, that's blue. So we have a sterling class. See that color there? I think when you, you know, I don't want to scratch again, but sometimes the outer part of it that's, you know, been in in the world for a while doesn't come up, you know, you don't come up to the silver until you scratch a little bit, but I don't want to keep scratching it, so. But there's a lot of blue there once we um, rubbed it on the little stone. I think that might solve a little bit of the mystery. 
So, without spending an hour on one necklace, because I could, I really just love to sit and look at them all, I am going to say 17. 17 for that. Okay, what's next? Ooh, we have like a medallion, light blue, um, rhinestone. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of a vintage looking. It's got some, are these glassy beads? I think so. That calls for a little bit of fixing, which would probably have to undo the clasp. I like to do that anyway, because I want you to know if the clasp works and all that. So we'll fix you up, you pretty baby. And do the clasp. Okay. Wait a minute, maybe I should do it over here. Yeah, that's better. All right. Rhinestone, seed bead. Whoops, I didn't fix it right. I think it goes this way, yeah. Yep. That goes, wait a minute, I want to make sure this is right. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> okay. Either way, I mean, if it's not coming through here okay, you can open that up and fix it. But I think it's just a matter of the way I'm twisting this around. Yeah, okay, good. Done. I just want to be sure. So that's a pretty one, lots of rhinestones. I don't see any missing. And I would say 12 for that. This is a nice gold tone, sort of antique gold tone piece. Oh, it's got a tassel. I've really come to like tassels. I didn't when I first started learning about jewelry, but I like them now. I think they're very pretty. Do you think they're coming back? I mean, I don't know. I'm not Miss Fashionista by any by any means, but I wonder if they're coming back. So this chain is not making me really happy. It has a little bit of something funky going on here. It's kind of worn. Oh, it's too bad because it's got a really cute, you know, this look of the 80s and this is a nice stone here very nice I'm sure it's how light dyed how light because you can tell with the little light coming through that it's probably dyed but it's beautiful I mean very nice I just don't know that I like the chain so I think it's too pretty to put in craft I think I'm gonna say six dollars and if you want to hook a new piece of chain from here on it's an easy fix but that's just too pretty to put in craft i think there's a lot of good wear and good beautiful use out of that still so if you'd like that for six just send me an email and i'll be happy to answer you Oh, this is cool. Look at the wrap bracelet with the polka dots. Interesting. I like these bead and caps that are filigree. I think that's so pretty. Um, this is, let me see. It's not showing me any hang tag. It is magnetic. It's cute. Ooh, I like that. That's like, um, what do I want to say? Like a frosty sort of silver tone. Ooh, that's a pretty crystal bead there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, hmm, is that supposed to be like that? Or is it worn off? I don't know. I mean, why would there be paint worn off so much on that one bead, but not in the others? I don't I don't know. What do you
you think? Do you think that's worn or it's supposed to be? I think there's a little wear. Wait a minute, is that wear or is that spotty? Hmm, I don't know. These are iridescent and just awfully cute. I guess you can make up your own mind if you like it. There is a little wear there. I think there is a little wear. But it's got the filigree end caps and bead bead caps, right? That was called. And just some funky stuff. So again, I can get carried away and look at things for too long. I apologize, but I would say four dollars on that. We'll do four. Four, four, four. All right kiddos let's see what we got left this oh it's got cute little dolphins is that a starfish smiling that is too cute oh my gosh that's funny and like a swirly shell and a star oh this is cute and this does feel cold like how light that's a nice bead so before i get too carried away again it does seem to have the vintage stretch cord in it. And I think those are really good quality. They're really nicely made in the, that time. And I would say $6. Nice looking bracelet. It doesn't have any real wear to any of the beads. And yeah, we'll do it for that. Okay, we're going to get you out of the way because you are just beautiful. And you are screaming at me to get you out of that bag. And what does that movie say? Oh, I love Jimmy Stewart. Little shop around the corner. He's, they say in the movie, take me out of my mailbox and whatever that line is. I'm really messing it up, but I love that movie. Take me out of my goodwill box and give me new life, it's saying. What are you saying to me? Chico's or something? Yes, it's a Chico's. My gosh, they made some nice jewelry. Do they still make jewelry? Yeah, they do, right? Anyway, that's a good size lobster claw. The wooden beads are very nicely done. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. This is what I mean about Chico's, especially the vintage stuff. The detail they put into things. It's just great. They've got different silver tone things going on here, some more howlite, and then they all of a sudden throw in like a black bead right there. That's just cool. Look at that. Looks like like nice mahogany wood or something. I mean, I don't know what kind it is, but that's what it looks like. It's got that color. Again, I could just sit and look at every bead because I enjoy this so much, but this is a vintage Chico's. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it's got the extension. Well, actually the whole piece, you could clip it anywhere. It's not really an extension. Um, let's see. I would say $10. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Next, we've got some dyed shell, and this feels cold, so that might be a glass or how light. Wow, I wonder what that could be. Just someone really creative with glass beads? We'll have to see what Miss Prissy says about it on the Presidium. Ooh, could that be a sterling clasp? I hope so. All right, let's give you a look at the necklace as I'm chasing the beads and putting them in our craft jar. Oopsie, we'll do a little house cleaning. And let's see, oh, I like that clasp. That's looking fancy. Let me zoom in for you. I'm on an iPhone, so it takes a little bit to adjust the focus. But I'm pretty happy with my old phone. I wasn't going to make any videos because I didn't think my phone could do it, and they're not bad. I mean, it's not the greatest videos in the world, but I'm just starting. So let's see if this is sterling. It's fancy, but I'm not seeing a mark. 
Hmm. You had me fooled. Unless it is, and I just am not seeing the mark. We might have to test this. No, you know what? I think it's not. I think it's made to look like, you know, pretty tarnished sterling. Oh, I'm forgetting we could do the magnet. It has a little bit of a magnet, so. All right, I'm getting better. I'm learning. So, dyed shell. Let me move my earring escapade over and see what it tests on Miss Prissy. I'm curious about this one. Yes, it's glass. I thought it would be. But this one, I don't know. It does look like glass that's made to look like turquoise. And then there's others. Yes. So glass and shell beads. Lots going on. Alternating with little chips of lighter color beads and clear beads with the toggle clasp. I would say that that's a really pretty necklace for eight dollars. I probably should say that in my first video, first couple videos, um, I was saying that my email was at AOL but unfortunately that email didn't work. So my email is capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. So I apologize if you chased anything around. I really do. I thought of taking the videos down, but I didn't want to do that either. So I hope that, um, that you read the comments and that you see that the email was different. So I'm taking a look at these to see if the posts say anything, and they don't, but they're cute, really cute. Putting them on the styrofoam board that we have to go to soon because I wanna give some prices on all those earrings. Okay, what have we got? A few more pieces left and some bits of bobsies. Okay, this is different. I haven't seen anything that was turquoise, like, you know, faux turquoise with this color bead before. I think they're lucite and they're marbly, swirly looking, almost like a, not a yellow, but a creamy, peachy, <laughs> I don't know how to describe them. I hope the camera's giving you a good idea of the color. And then look at those brushed gold tone beads. Those are pretty. They're a little bit like, could use a wipe down on this one here. Maybe I should do that now, but I don't want to take up too much time. And then this is also acrylic, but this feels like stone. So pretty interesting. This is very different than everything else we've had in the in the bag, and I would say, let me make sure the clasp works. Yes, it does. This is a long one. I'm gonna say $4 because it does need to be wiped right there on that bead. So $4 on that one. Hey, not too much broken stuff in this one. So that's good. Um, the box wasn't overstuffed. The bags, I think it was like a little under 12 pounds. So, you know, the 40 pound box was really cool. The over 20 pound, there were some broken things. There's just so much weight in there. I've seen a lot of these clasps in this box where they, I think this one is sterling, but where they look sterling or they're very fancy. This one is, I think. Oh, wow. Isn't that precious? That looks like, that looks like a shell. It is a shell carved into that really precious little, it looks like an apple blossom, but I don't know, you know, a ton about flowers. 
if you know what kind of flower, please put it in the comments. I don't mean to butcher it. That's a beautiful crystal bead. The ribbon is beautiful, as you can see. It's not worn. In great shape, shimmery. That's so pretty. Am I zoomed in at all? I want you to be able to see. No, I'm not. Okay. Yes, because I want you to be able to see the whole necklace. Let's have a look at this. Where I thought I saw a mark. Earlier, I thought for sure it said 925, but when I looked up close, it did not. So, and this one does. Yeah. It does say 925. It is sterling. That's nice. Now this, I'm sure you could retie it because see, it's a little bit fraying. I wouldn't want anyone to, well, it's not gonna untie, but maybe there's a way to sort of melt that to a little point. Let's see what they did on this side. Yeah, I don't know. They just sort of cut it clean there. But you guys that know more about jewelry or jewelry making, you'll know what to do. I would probably carefully try to melt that, or I'd let someone do that knows what they're doing. But we have sterling silver, a gorgeous carved shell necklace, really beautiful crystal, and the ribbon's great. So I would say 18. I think that's just a beautiful piece. $18, Cape Cod eBay girl at gmail.com at gmail.com not at AOL I'm sorry guys I don't mean to sing on you okay color craze earrings seem to have had a better day I don't know what color craze is but they're not looking like they're like super quality I'm going to take these off and put them in our craft jar because it needs some more stuff. Chink, chink. And we'll put this guy in there just in case someone wants to fix them. Oh, I need to show you on the first video. Whoops. The, the cutest earrings. These star earrings. Aren't those adorable? And I'm thinking, I'm keeping these. I'm keeping these. So I kept hesitating, not really saying anything about them. And I found the second one. And then I, then I finished the video. I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot to give prices on earrings. But when I showed this one, it had like, whoops, I don't want to show my secret. When I showed the earrings, the other one had like a little bit of yellow on it. So in between the videos, I thought, let me try to get that yellow off so that I can, you know, show them some nice earrings. And look what happened. Broken. When I went to peel that glue off, I guess it's glue, I didn't know, the post came off. So I say all that to tell you that these beautiful, precious little babies are going in the jewelry hospital. So I don't know if someone can put the post back on. I just thought they were so cute. So in you go. I'm so sorry I didn't get to keep you. Okay, we have a stretch bracelet. Not the greatest stretch. It's not bad, but the beads are plastic. I'm going to put this in the craft. Chink. Okay, we're almost done. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's beautiful. You know, a lot of art glass that we, oh my gosh, come on. That's so pretty. I was gonna say a lot of art glass nowadays is not clear like this. It's beautiful, I'm not saying anything like that, but I don't know, I haven't seen a lot of clear art glass. Which, wow, does it go this way? Well, let me see. If this swirls around this way, then wow, you could wear it either way. That's beautiful. Solid glass. Gorgeous. I think these are acrylic, though. The other ones, hmm, probably acrylic. 
and some glassy beads. Let's see what the class, what is this? Oh, <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's a big hang tag. And it's not, it's an earring. Yes, we found the second one. Okay, we gotta get to the earrings. Let me see, nice big lobster claw. I don't see any marks on it. No hang tags. I don't think there was a hang, yeah, a couple hang tags on the jewelry in here, but, woo, for someone new at this, that's tough when you don't know the makers. So we've got this gorgeous, oh, what do I say about you? What do I say about you? How did they make that? Incredible. How about if I give a measurement and make sure the clasp works? I always clasp them there so they don't tangle. Let's see, I'll have to pull, oops, sorry. Have to pull on this to get the length. 18, 18 inches. Oh my gosh, that's stunning. Uh, I'm gonna say 22. So pretty. That is just, I mean, I think if you wore that, that it would get noticed because it's just that pretty. Okay, what are you? Are you a bracelet with a cute little charm? And it looks like, I don't know, like a little mountain scene? It does look like a little mountain scene. I don't see any marks on it. Um, hmm. A little bit magnetic. I don't know, could someone use that in crafting? It's not going to take up that much room if you don't want it, so we'll put that in our craft jar. Oh, this is a cutie. Look at that. That is blessed baubles right there. There's your baubles. See you at the baubles. Cute as heck. I love the round, faceted, light blue, silver tone. Oh, that's cute as heck. You can't keep it, Sherry. You can't keep it. Oh, this is Blessed Baubles. I'm telling you. So cute. <laughs> I can't keep everything. It is 16 inches without the extension. And we've got about a 3 inch extension. So 16 to 19, it's so cute. It is acrylic, it's in great shape. These silver tone beads don't show anywhere. And I'm gonna say $12. Okay guys, we made it through this whole box. I have to find something else to fit in there. We have one more bracelet. This is ceramic, yep, ceramic. Ooh, that's a nice one. That might be acrylic, I'll test it and see. Wow, that's pretty. Sort of an amber looking. And look at the copper one, that is a great look. Now we have to test the stretch. I should have done that first. Oh, <gasps> no, no, no stretch. You don't want to have that on and it pops off. Okay, let me just see, make sure if this is glass. Nope, it is acrylic. Looks like I'm not gonna have to look for anything to fill up the craft jar because looks like this is gonna give it some more, some more filling up anyway. So that's that one. Let's see what we've got left. Oh, there's our other cutie, little cutie. You know what? I need to wipe my hands off. I don't like it when they get yucky dirty. And a lot of times I'll stop the video, go wash my hands. These little pop-up wipes are great. Then I don't have to splice the videos together. So, okay, thank you for waiting for that. Anyway, this is a cutie. It looks like, oh yeah, it's got a couple of rhinestones in the middle. Not seeing any marks on it. 
This really feels like glass. It is. And soon we're going to get to the earrings. Okay, what have we got left? Little bits that go in our craft jar. The wooden beads that, <clears throat> excuse me, that broke off of that other necklace. Or that the, the necklace broke and they came off of. Um, you know, I'm not really sure what these came off of. Unless I'm already forgetting if something broke in our first video, but these are how light beads. They're very nice condition. Those are going to go in our craft. The wooden beads. And let's see. Oh yeah, we've got these two. These, oopsie, these nice big howlite beads. This one just jumped off the table, but I got it. This necklace, there was nothing wrong with this. I think I just forgot to talk about you. I'm sorry, little darling. I didn't mean to neglect you. Glass seed beads. Um, lobster clasp. It, oh, it is on a wire like a silver tone wire. Um, it's like a frosty glass. I'm, just, I'm feeling like I want to put it in the craft jar, even though it's not a craft item. You know what? Maybe it is, because it's got a little wear right there. So, it's just begging me to put it in there, because whoever's going to get this, for some reason they have to have that, too. In you go. I'll put a piece of tape over that. We'll measure it in just a second. Oh, this angel is so cute. Not going in the craft jar. That's too cute. Not that a crafter wouldn't do something wonderful with it. We've got our second earring there. We have... Oh, yeah, this needed to go in. Yep, so that's got to go in the craft jar. This wrap bracelet... I think I was going to see if that was glass. Hmm. I, yes, these are glass. But the rest of them, yeah, maybe these are glass too, but these are acrylic. So we have a little wrap bracelet. Um, gee, should I put it in the craft jar? I think so. It doesn't always have to be craft. Could just be a nice little addition. We don't know what this came from, but in you go. It's like a heart shape. Heart pendant. I don't think this is stone, but it's cute. In you go. I don't want that to be scratched, so I'll wrap it. And then we have this last big glass pendant. Hmm, I'm going to have to wrap, wrap that carefully. You know, I'll rearrange it, put some cushioning around there and that will be part of this craft jar so let's give it a little weight weighing in and see what it weighs hello the other one weighed exactly 10 ounces this one's 11.45 since you've been through the video with me now you know what's in there so I would say 15 the craft jar. Um, let's see, 11.45. So we'll have to figure out um, what it would cost to ship it to you for the person that emails me and, and purchases the jar. We'll figure that out then. But remind me, 11.45 on this jar, the first jar was exactly 10 ounces. And I have that stone that goes to this necklace. I will not forget. If someone buys that, we are at the end of the bag. We did it! Yay! I'm so glad you joined me for the video. I had a great time. It wasn't my favorite box in the whole world. I think I like the ones with much more variety. But it was fun. They're always fun. And I could look at each piece forever. There's a lot of pieces I didn't give prices for. Maybe I can do that quickly. So we have this wrap bracelet with acrylic, light blue, turquoise. Let's do four dollars. 
and this bracelet. I was going to look into it and see if it was sterling, but in the first video I couldn't figure out how to open it. Was it this one or the other one? Anyway, you can't tell if it's sterling because that's a magnet, but nonetheless, I think that's really pretty for seven, seven dollars. We have this necklace full of stone. Looks like tiger eye, but I think that might be, um, you know, like, um, what do I want to say? Pottery. Oh, I can't think of it. I just said it a minute ago. These, no, let's see. I'm going to have to do this over again. I think these tested as way up there in aqua. Yes, they're aquamarine. And a lovely necklace, large lobster claw. I don't think I gave a price on this, did I? Um, I'm going to say $10. Yes, because when I put things to the left of me, I didn't price them yet. This wrap bracelet is marked with something. It said C-H-A-N-L-U-U. And I'll say five on that. This this necklace, isn't that pretty? It's like, reminds me of squash blossom. I don't see anything missing. This is very cold. I'm gonna say it's how light. Chain's in great shape. And I'm gonna say 12 on that. We had this necklace. I can't think of it. Uh, not acrylic. Oh my goodness. You ever have one of those where you just can't think of something? Ceramic. Oh, ceramic. That's what I want to say. Silver tone, hooky sort of clasp with um, corded, you know, corded chain in great shape. I will say $3 on that. We have these cool, funky, brand new earrings, brown, turquoise, cream color, on the wire, two bucks. This moldable wrap, this is how light, it's cold. Well, I'd like to say how light, I, I think it's how light, it's, it's stone, how about that? It's stone and it's cold and it tests the stone. Uh, this is in good shape. Sometimes these can be really worn, but good shape on this. Great looking bracelet for six, six dollars. And I like those little, gold, those silver tone little ball beads at the end. We had three of these bracelets, but only two of them made it. The other one had a missing rhinestone, so these are really cute. Um, if you need a measure quickly, I'll give you one. It's so funny, on my first video, I didn't want to measure. Wasn't sure, like, what to do. And I, I'm like, if you need a measurement, do you? As if you guys could answer me. Anyway, two and a half inches. Couple of bangles, glass beads on there. It is gold tone, by the way. And we'll do the two for $4. I am really doing good now. These, we couldn't figure out if they're turquoise or not. It's really hard to tell. And we don't know if that's the the card they actually came on, but I love those stones here in the middle. So I'm gonna say 10 on those. Pierced, by the way. And this guy is just, oh my gosh, it's heavy, it's cool, it's a shell. It's got all kinds of, I think those are turquoise, but you know, it's hard to tell. Rock crystal, I mean, a lot going on in this. And did we find out if that was sterling? I could test it very quickly because don't think we saw a mark, but that is stunning necklace. And I think I would want to know if it was also sterling. So let's do that. I hate to do any of this testing. I don't want to scratch or harm anything. So let's see. Hmm. Well, 
like to be very gentle and do as little as I have to. But we do have to, you know, you'd have to get through a little bit because you don't want something to be plated and then tell someone it's sterling. So, hmm, I don't know. We'll have to see what the, what the test shows. Hmm. Yes, that's sterling. That's definitely a nice blue color. Whoopsie. Get my wipey offy thingy. How do you like my language? Wipey offy thingy. Sterling silver. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, what do I ask for this? It's so stunning. Rock crystal, all kinds of stuff going on. I'm going to say 25. Sterling clasp. This is so pretty. I like the sterling and the gold tone. I like the st uh, sterling. I like the <laughs> a little bit of the turquoise and the gold tone. It's so pretty together. I don't want to show this all over because I did, I think, in the first video. It's a beautiful necklace. There is some wear on the chain. I think we talked about putting a new piece on here. Whoever, you know, if you buy it putting a new piece of chain so you want to consider that and it's got a nice weight I mean it would be a nice necklace if it wasn't for the chain worn so I'm gonna say five you can fix that part if you'd like to these are the earrings that showed too much wear so I'm gonna fit that in the uh, craft jar so cute. I mean, maybe they could be polished up, but that's okay. I said I'd put them in there, so I will. And here's another pair of these brand new earrings that are acrylic. And what did I say on the other pair? I don't remember, but I'll say four on these. Really pretty stretch bracelet. Nice stretch to it. I love the red with the turquoise. Four dollars. Glass beads. Nice. This was one of the first things I think we saw. It's really cunning and nunnin. I like it a lot. Um, nice bright silver tone. What do you call that? Omega chain? I like how the beads slide. Um, yeah, it's pretty, and I would say 12 on that. And by the way, the chain is in, like, never worn condition. Really great. We have a pair of earrings that are sort of antiqued, but I'm keeping you in suspense about the earrings. I'll show them to you in just a second. I wasn't sure what to do about this Druzy necklace. Got a little kind of chippy thing on the on that part of it. Otherwise, it's got a tassel, and it's on like a rope chain. It is magnetic chain. You could change the chain or keep it nice tarnished. And I'm going to say $4 because I'm not sure about the druzy. You know, if someone would mind that or not. And the how light with the feather. I like that little action in the feather. And this is six dollars. A lot of how light bees, nice and cold, good shape. This guy we're thinking is sterling. You know, the liquid silver with a couple of turquoise chips. Nice tiny dainty little stackable. I'm gonna say ten dollars on that. This barrel clasp was not sterling. I think it is a little bit magnetic, but this is not magnetic. So that's that. Rhinestone earrings. The card looks sort of antiqued. It's not dirty. It's just the way it looks. Uh, yeah, rhinestone, beautiful color. 
I would say five dollars on those and they're prong set which is always nice prong set there and there pretty color this is a glass chip with lovely violet colors and um, as you can see the toggle class and I'm gonna say five dollars on that Oh my gosh, I'm realizing that the time on the video is an hour, 20 minutes. But that's okay. When I watch jewelry videos, I don't mind. I like to watch them for hours. And you can always take a break when you want to. So you can shut me off. I can't shut me off. So you can take a break from me. This, I love this. I'm really struggling. But this is a nice deep teal color. It is the Clamper, you know bracelet which I love that too I'm going to show off my bracelets because every one of them I got in a jewel in a goodwill box or yes they're all from from some kind of box this one I did a video on goodwill box on eBay and these are from probably a blue box and this one is on one of my last videos so pretty why am I telling you about my bracelets anyway this is so pretty. I think it would look great with these, but I can't keep everything. So I am going to say $10. It's in great shape. Let's see, anything left? Yes, we have this copper. This is glass beads, but they are they look like copper. I think that's their intention, a pearly sort of, and I think that is a pearl. And this is on a spring ring. I don't know if we looked if that was sterling or not, but this is a nice weight to it. I love the different purple and white, and I am going to say $8 for that. This bracelet, this was the one I couldn't figure out how to open, and I didn't want to pull on it. Yep, it's a magnetic. I love that sort of tarnished look. I don't know if this is sterling. I don't, I'm not going to worry about it, but I love the safety, you know, safety chain with it too. And the glass beads rolling around. So I'm going to say $8 on that with the magnetic clasp. And I think that's it. I think we did prices on everything else except the turquoise chip. I, I really want to keep this. It is sterling. I think, really think it is turquoise chips. Oh, I don't know, guys. I really want to keep it. Um, you know what? I'm going to say, I'll say 24. If someone buys it for 24, I'll let it go. If not, then I'll do a catch and release, right? Wear it for a while and then sell it later. But it is sterling silver. I think that is turquoise. That's my one turquoise item in the whole box true turquoise um, and 24 let's we'll see what happens so my ebay just to let you know again i'm sorry my email is capecodebaygirl at gmail.com i use paypal i will send you an invoice and you can pay through paypal and the shipping is through paypal um, shipping is five dollars unless something weighs over a pound, then we'll decide what the shipping cost is um, per weight. Uh, and last but not least, we're going to go over our earrings. We have these sort of resin and gold tone basket weave for $3 pierced. These are so cute. I love these. Um, what was I trying to think of earlier that these are made of? Ceramic. I think these are ceramic with, um, with enamel over them. Pierced earrings. Cute, simple circle. I hope you can see them well. I like that color. It's really different. Anyway, I'm going to say $5 on those. I think I'll leave them here. Um, oopsie. 
these little glass earrings, the drop ones, we'll say $3. Remember to leave me a timestamp, describe the item, and um, remind me of the price, because that helps. We have these antiqued looking earrings. Those are co cool looking. These I'll say $4. And these little seed bead decorative. This is a gold tone vintage back on them. $4. Glass and rhinestone. I'm sorry, I'm not sure if that's glass in the middle. I want to be sure, so I don't want to tell you something. Yes, glass and rhinestone. And I would say five on these. They have like a cat's eye look. Acrylic earrings here with the teal and the cream beads. We'll do $3 on those. These big acrylic with the yellow bead on the top. So cute and funky, like a marbly color. $6 on those. These look older to me. Quite older. I went over them, I think, on the first video. I do think that's turquoise chip, and there's a lot going on there. I'm going to say $12 on those. Uh, these cutie cuties, we'll say three. We have the Howlite earrings. That's a nice size. The silver tone. I think those are vintage a little bit. $6 on those. Now, these are really hard to tell if that's mother for abalone inside or if it's made to look like abalone. But it's got these carved roses. You can watch the first video for, you know, a lot of details on these. But let's say $5 on those. Feather. African-style bead. We'll say $4 on these. And these beauties. This is like a rose gold tone. Um, everything's there. Glass beads. I think $10 on those. Almost done. Not that I want to end, but I like the turquoise color rhinestones in the turquoise enamel earrings. I hope you can get a good look at those. Um, just so cute. Five dollars. And last but not least, we have these silver tone earrings. Don't know if they're sterling. They do look like it, but I don't know. Um, it's okay. I think whether they are or are not, we'll say five dollars. So I think we did it. I think we did all the pieces. I'm so happy that you joined me to watch the video. Wait a minute, one more, one more. These little cuties. Glass earrings with um, sort of a cat's eye effect. And those are $4. So, I'll combine shipping. Of course, if you like a couple things, I'll put them together and combine the shipping. Wow. I can't believe it. I priced everything in the box. I don't think I've ever done that before. I've only done six videos, but hey. That was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave a like. Please do subscribe. I'm almost there. I think I have 600 subscribers, so I'm excited. Really excited. So thanks for joining me. It was a lot of fun. Hope you'll come back again and leave me some comments. Thank you, and I'll see you at the baubles. Wait a minute, what do I do with this? I don't know. I don't even know if I should price it or what the materials are. I'm gonna wait on this to see what you guys say, because I have no idea. And your knowledge and your sharing is gonna help me a lot, so. Not sure about this yet. Thank you, bye. Oopsie, last but not least. The Kendra Scott necklace will do for $20. The necklace that just needed that one bead 
resituated with all the Murano style glass beads. I'll do for 18 with the wedding cake style beads. And the necklace that's solid stone, incredible. I have no idea how to even know what all these are. But I'm going to say 50. It has a sterling class. And I hope you all share in the comments what you think this is. It's beautiful, stunning, $50. Uh, let me know what you think or send an offer. Okay, thanks. Thanks for looking at the baubles with me. Don't you love them? Goodbye.